Uh, this is question number 23. Uh, we are told the masses of 40 adults who attended a health clinic were recorded as follows. So we have the data that was corrected for those adults that attended the health, a health clinic. Part A, we have complete the frequency distribution table below for the above information. Use classes of size 5 starting with uh, the class 44 to 40 to 44. So these are the classes, the number of times that data appear uh, within that class, the midpoint, uh, the product of frequency and the midpoint, and this is a cumulative frequency table. So we start, uh, we are using the class of five. So if you subtract uh, uh, the lower class limit and the upper class limit, you get it is five. So that is a class interval. So here you have 45. Uh, to 49 uh, then we have 50 to 54 uh, we have 55 to 59 we have 60 to 64 65 to 69 uh, 70 to this is 70 to 74 and uh, I think those are the classes that we have so we count the number we get the number of data within this class so 40 to 44 uh, so we have one uh, 40 to 44 we have two uh, we have three uh, we have uh, four so they are we can see there are four uh, so we have 50 to 54 so we have um, uh, this is one uh, two Uh, not factually 50 to 54 but for 45 to 49 so we have 45 to 49 we have one uh, two uh, three four uh, five we have uh, five we have uh, we have six we have uh, we have uh, those are six Let's check whether we have others. Those are six. We have seven. Uh, we have, uh, let's check whether there is a missing one. A uh, seven. Uh, we have, those are seven. So they are seven. Uh, they are seven. Let's use the same color. Uh, 50 to 54. Uh, so we have one, uh, two, uh, two, three, four, four, five, uh, six, seven, seven, fifty to fifty four, seven. Fifty to fifty-four. Uh, we have seven, seven, eight. So we have eight. Uh, then we have fifty-five to fifty-nine. Fifty-five. We have one, two, three, four, five, five. Uh, five, 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 uh, fifty to fifty-nine, uh, five. So we have six there. We have six. Sixty to sixty-four. So we have one, uh, sixty-four, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, we have seven. Uh, then we have uh, sixty-five to sixty-nine. Sixty-five to sixty-nine, we have one. We have two. We have three. I can see three there. Uh, Seventy to seventy-four. Uh, Seventy to seventy-four, we have one. Two, three, uh, four, uh, five. So we 
have 5. So those are the number of times the data appears. The midpoint of, what, uh, of the class, the midpoint of the class, we, ta we can take, uh, uh, we have 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So we have 42 is a midpoint. So you can see we are adding 2 to the uh, lower value. So we have this is 42, uh, this is 47. Uh, this is uh, 52, this is 57, uh, this is 62, this is 67, and this is uh, 72. Uh, from there we get Fx. You multiply 4 times 42, uh, you'll be able to get 168. You multiply 7 by 47, you get 329. You multiply 8 by 52, you get uh, 416 you multiply 6 by 57 uh, you get uh, 342 uh, multiply 7 times 62 uh, we get 434 uh, multiply 3 times 67 you get 201 uh, multiply 5 by 72 you get 360 cumulative frequency uh, we add the frequencies so we start with 4 4 plus 7 that will give us 11 11 times 8 that will give us 19 19 plus 6 you get uh, 25 25 plus 7 you get 32 plus 3 you get 35 plus 5 you get 40 uh, so because uh, uh, now, those are that is we have filled the frequency distribution table. Uh, we go to the questions. Uh, state the model class. You get one mark. The model class is that class that has the highest frequency. If you look at uh, our our frequency table uh, column here, uh, this is the class that has the highest uh, frequency eight. So the model class is fifty to fifty four. Uh, so 50 to 54 that is a model class uh, from there we are told estimate the mean mass Roman number one the mean mass so we go back to the our table to get the ma the mean we need uh, we use a mean x bar is equal summation of x f divided by the summation of f so we need to sum up the frequency if you sum up add up this it should add up to 40 uh, then we add up the fx uh, using a calculator and you'll be able to get it is 2250 so the frequency the the, the mean mass is uh, this 2250 divided by 40 that is the summation of xf uh, you divide by the summation of frequency so we say x bar that is the mean mass is the summation of x f you divide by the summation of f in which we have found this is 200 2, you divide by 40 and that you give you, if you use your calculator you should be able to get 56.25 kilograms so that is a uh, that is a mean mass Roman number two we are supposed to estimate the median mass so uh, since we have a total of 40 uh, number of uh, adults that attended it means uh, we divide 40 divide by 2 is equals to 20 so the median uh, the, the 20th person had the median mass add the median mass so to get the median uh, what we do here is we use a formula so we say median is equals to now if you go to our table you can see from the frequency to simple table this is where the medium person was because we have said is at 20th so what we do, the previous uh, free, uh, cumulative frequency is 19 and we are talking of 20. So we use a formula 
and say the lower class limit of this uh, of this class is 54.5 so what we do is uh, we say the lower class limit 54.5 you add uh, the 20 the median class you minus the previous free, uh, cumulative frequency and you divide by the the you divide by the frequency in that class which is six so we divide by six uh, and this you multiply by the class interval which is five as we have uh, seen so when you do this you'll be able to get 55 and a third uh, kilogram or uh, 55.3 kilograms so when you do that uh, you'll be able to get three marks so these are uh, these are six marks and uh, you get uh, uh, four marks for filling the cumulative frequency table so that's how you do that question and you should be able to score 10 marks